morning, y'all. Dwayne and Desiree right at you. Yeah, up here on the... Yeah, explore the Cunningham Loop Trail. I don't know if we'll do the whole one. It's a five and a half mile loop. So, let's see. Kind of a late start this morning. I, uh, wind is just, uh, it's just cold up here. I'm like, uh, a little over 9,000 feet right now, so. But yeah, I'm up here on the Mount Graham and the Pinalinos. Three night back, three night camping. Yeah, I will have separate videos on it. I have a video of coming up the hill. It's a steep climb coming up here. Camping video. This, uh, this is a little bit further and hiking down to uh, Grant Falls. I was thinking about going to Grant Falls. And it's uh, four miles down to get down to Grant Falls. But I heard it's pretty steep coming back. So I decided to do this. I head up this way and you know, get a view. Hope you all stay tuned long enough to explore with me. Yeah, starting out on an old uh, forest logging road. So there's a little bit of water left still running up here. Not much. It's uh, it's drying up pretty fast. You can see it. A little bit of water running down this creek, but it's drying up pretty fast up here. Everything's waiting for monsoon season. Maybe they'll come early. Well, no one wants to listen to me huff and puff, so I'll bring it back if I see anything interesting along the way. Well, I'm at the split off. Wasn't that far. The upper section goes that way, more of a road. And then this is the loop where it comes back down. You can see it running along the hill. And it's uh, 1.2 miles to where the loop comes out and the loop's like 2.8 miles. So if I do the loop 2.8 miles and it's 1.2 miles back here. So I think I'm gonna head that way. We'll do the upper loop. To get a good view of our Mount Graham, that's where the Mount Graham loop, there's a Mount Graham loop trail that goes around that entire hill over there. I don't know if I'll get a chance to explore that one. I only got today and tomorrow. And then I gotta head out here Monday morning. I head off this way. Huh. Nice view up here. I didn't do much filming because it's just there's a trail that came up in the road, the old logging road. That's uh that's where the Mount Graham Loop Trail is. Takes you all up through there. I can actually see one of the paths going up there. You can see it lying in the it's one of the there's like several like five or different loop trails that loop around that entire hilltop, mountaintop. Well, hilltop from up here, but yeah, it's pretty much all well burned out and you know, stupid pine pine beetle pretty much killing everything up here. Nice view. We just get a good view out here. Yeah, came up that way. Coming up in this canyon. Really neat. I bet this was really nice in its heyday when it was still heavily forested up here. And uh yeah. So I got some patches of snow up here. Very little. It's kind of weird looking. So I can zoom in a little bit. Cord out of the way. Not much of a zoom. 
be so I can point at it. See that rock outcropping there? It looks like there's a whole bunch of little rocks all stacked on top. I don't know if that's, that's just, I can't tell from here. I should pull my binoculars out and look at it. See if I can see what it is. You can see where the trail came up, came up this way. And probably painting too fast. It goes that way. And if you look right over in that area, you see a flat spot going. That's where it goes. And goes up that way. Eventually it'll start going around the back side of this. I'm not sure if it goes all the way to the top. Or it just goes around the back side. And that's the road I took. More campgrounds up that way. There's like over a dozen campgrounds up here. Primitive and uh, some uh, nice ones too. Got amenities with them. If you ever come up here, you can go to Columbine Campground, which is just up past the visitor center. They have a all uh, water source there. A well, you can pump, you get water. That's where I went yesterday. I drove up there, and that's the that's the Galileos out there. Yeah, we walked around this hill already. <laughs> yeah, keep going. I get over there, I'm gonna get a nice view. I can see where my trail is down there where I came from. Went up around that way. But uh, what I thought was going that way, it's a trail, but it's marked dead end. It doesn't go anywhere. And it actually circles and comes up this way. And filming has been pretty steep. And it's a. Uh, that wind just doesn't want to stop. Yesterday it was done. It wasn't blowing like this yesterday. It stopped blowing and it was nice the rest of the day. It warmed up. But that wind just doesn't want to stop. And that wind is just bone chillingly cold. I'm going to have to go get me a windbreaker jacket because it's just cutting right through this sweater like nothing I was ready to crest over the ridge I'm hoping the wind dies down on the other side yeah forgive my breathing we are uh, pushing almost 10,000 feet up here so I'm a little winded Ooh the rocks up there yeah it's like this can't tell on hammer but it's steep yeah see that's it I saw going that way there is a path going that way but it said it was a dead end probably went up in that canyon and dead end and just no logging road. Yeah. It's the kind of view we get up here. Oh, yeah. At least it's warm up here. Wind is not as bad. Yeah, trail go that way. Oh, yeah. Nice view. And that's probably my trail road there. The path I'm taking is probably going to go into there and around that way. Nice view here. Yeah, come up here at the top of this hill, get a look. <coughs> well, you can see where the trail goes. Yeah, I think this trail here goes up. And you can see it going up across the ridge line over there, all the way over there, and then it starts over there, and it starts down. And I think this is the return trail. I think it, it, it's right here on the hill. I think it goes down here, and it's probably down there somewhere, returning and going back. Let's get a good view. Still pretty windy over here. Not as bad on that side though. Get more wind on that side. 
Oof. It's just cold. Forestry Service did a lot of work up here. A lot of stacked wood everywhere. That's a lot of hard work stacking that wood up like that all over the place. I'm not going to walk over that way, it's just too windy. Look at my map a little better. The trail goes this way. And that trail you're seeing on that way, that just goes up in that canyon dead ends. But when you come up around somewhere up in that area there, there's a spur trail that shoots down. And then this is the lower trail that comes down. And it goes down here and then it... Yeah, it comes around here and it comes and heads back. And then I found this. This is probably an old logging trail. It's not showing, it doesn't show it on the map at all this is probably an old logging trail kind of curious it's probably that one I saw up on the hill that goes that way that's probably the one that goes that way up on the hill it's an old these there's a lot of old logging roads up here that they don't really do any logging up here much anymore it's not much left of the forest I mean I mean they'll haul out all the dead stuff log it but there's not much left of the forest up here to log. But yeah, yeah head on that way. All right, came up that way, this way. It almost looks like there's an old logging road going that way. And another one you can see it's like just a flat spot. But Looks like it goes that goes out there on the edge and then goes around. So the trail is just right down there, the returning trail. But I'm gonna head off this way. It's a well-established foot traffic going this way. Yeah. Keep going that way. Wow. Good view, but sad to see the forest in this state. And there's nothing left of the forest up here. Just a bunch of green giant toothpicks. Nice little rock outcropping up there. Stopped, took a little break here. Had to sit down for a little bit. Yeah, the trail's gonna go up and then it goes up in that canyon and then it dead ends up there. And there's supposed to be a spur trail that goes down because if you look at it, you can see it down there where the trail and then it comes down that canyon. But that little thing over there, that's snow. I figure out what it was. It's shiny over there. I'm using my binoculars. I, they don't even show those. I don't, I don't know what that is, that is. I don't know if that's an old logging road or what. Probably an old logging road. It's not used anymore. That'd be the trail. Goes down back. We're over halfway. We're about halfway done, so it won't take long. Got a little bit uphill there, and I think most of the way back is going to be downhill. Yeah, I just sat on that log, took a break. Had some trail mix and made me some electrolyte drink. Ooh, is that a falcon that flew over? Man, you're moving. <laughs> I crushed it up over a ridge. I was taking a break way over there by that rock formation way over there crushed up on the ridge I had to keep the mic pointed this way because the wind is just freaking it's just freaking howling through here but got a nice little view I get a good better idea what that looks like over there that's snow over there I turn around and point you the other way but all you're gonna do is pick up a bunch of wind noise maybe if I get up around that owner over there it won't be as windy but got a nice view here 
weird though because I can see two paths. I see a path up there and then path down there. Maybe it, that's a trail goes up and then it. I don't know. We'll see. All right, I'm up around the other side of that where that wind is, but you can see my trail down there. And here's where it starts down. Here's where it shoots up and dead ends in that canyon up there. Just dead ends up there. Doesn't go anywhere. And it looks like it hasn't been used in quite a while. <laughs> so my path is this way. Yeah, you'd be bushwhacking through that. That's pretty, yeah, that hasn't been used in years. But this path's pretty well maintained. So I'm yeah, heading down that way. Ain't nothing left on top of these man mountain tops. Nothing left up there. Totally burned down. There it came from. Going up into that little canyon. Any little thing. That way, I can actually see the trail goes up and then it and then it comes down around that way. But you can see the trail over there going that way. Not, back in this canyon is not too windy not too bad back here yeah you can see the trail switchbacks that's why I decided to do this one because this is going to have all the switchbacks and we're going down instead of up Might be another spur road. There was several of them up here. There's one back there, and I think that's the other one. Is just dead ends up there in that canyon. Yeah, came down that. Glad I went this way. I had nothing but switchbacks <laughs> and more switchbacks. But you can see where it starts going around. That's the trail that take me back. And I believe there's a path that shoots off that way, and it goes to the other. Trail. I'm hoping I'm thinking that's what it is, but I'm not gonna go that way. I'm gonna stick to the main Cunningham Loop Trail. I don't want to take the Cunningham Trail back to the Grant Loop Hill area because that's the time I get back to the camp. I'm gonna add another five miles onto my hike. And I'm already gonna have about well, probably six miles on this one. Between six and seven. But yeah, it's still pretty windy whipping up through this canyon. There's still more snow up there. Still a lot of snow up there in the little uh, shaded areas. It'll be gone with before the end of the month though. It's warm as it is right now. Yeah, I'm back down to my little split off where the trail junction is. Doesn't look like, it was called the Swift Trail Grant Hill. It's like, yeah, it's two miles, so. Yeah, Lower Trail Cunningham Camp, which is where we're heading to, two miles. So we got two miles back to where we started, but but doesn't look like this one has been used in quite a while, because it's pretty well, <laughs> not much, but ah, I got a nice log log jam to crawl over. Yep, we came switchbacking down this tire hill. Glad I went this way. <laughs> Hopefully the rest of it's easier from here on. Says I only got uh, two miles to go back to Cunningham Camp, so that's not bad. Yeah, it's a pretty easy trail here, well maintained. The other one's non-existent. A little bit of water running down here. I'd say that uh, most of the snow up here is going to be gone by the end of the month. But, yeah, nice little wooded section to go through up here. This is cool. I keep you on to go through here. This is kind of neat. Yeah, 
Yeah, really, I've been setting up for shots. Been having some really good wind gusts, and I'm worried about it just blowing the camera over. So that's why I haven't been setting up for shots. It's just too freaking windy out here. It's a lot windier than it was yesterday. Just don't calm down tonight. I might not be doing any campfires. I'm not gonna have a campfire in this wind. Eh, a little bit of a trinkle going down through there. Not much. There you go. Cool. Nice little waterfall right there. If I can zoom in. Eh, nice little waterfall right there. Pretty much all out of this uh canyon I came down into. This is what the one of those log stacks look like after they burn them. That's usually what they do. But there's one right there. See the log stack. They'll eventually burn that. But I'm getting ready to head out into the around the corner here and it's probably gonna be pretty windy. Back to being windy again. Yeah. I'm glad I did this hike. It's a nice neat little hike. I just wish it wasn't so freaking windy. Huh. Stump to sit on. Oh, yeah, almost tripped over a stump. Yeah, ish windy, windy, windy out here. Don't want to turn the camera the other way. She's going to pick up nothing but wind. Of course, this, uh, this camera's pretty good at uh, cutting the wind noise out. Yeah, I can see the path along the hill. Goes around. Uh huh. I have to show it when I get there. But, there you go. Right. That was that main canyon last I was on. Here on the hill, you see the trail going right there. And I passed by somewhere up there, way up there on top. I can't tell because it just. And now it. Down here, around, and you can see like way over there some stacked logs as the trail's gonna go around and then that way. But Cool. And there's the road down there. You see it passing through. It's the road. Nice to clean this stuff up, but I literally got to stack them right in the middle of the trail. And look at the little ledge I got to go around to get around it. Thanks, forestry. But I'm only around that last corner I was. The last time I filmed, which was like way over there, hiked up in this canyon. In that canyon around that hill and up into there which was really neat up in there i really didn't film it but yeah they gotta stack them right in the middle of the freaking path nice view here i'm gonna be going around the corner there out in the wind i think i'm gonna do is gonna take me a one more break in this area and then finish my hike I'll bring you back after you get going yeah she's blowing like crazy this wind isn't any better today that's where I came from we got a lot of stacked wood in here ready to be burned I just why they got to stack it right in the middle of the trail? And you literally got to walk around them. <laughs> I 
You literally stack them on the hill and everything. Yeah. We have less than a mile to go. Well, they've been busy. Look at all those stacks. Man, a lot. A lot of wood they gathered up, cleaned up the forest floor. Look at that. The day they come up here to sell these on fire, it's going to look like the damn mountain's on fire. <laughs> wow. They're definitely cleaning the forest up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I completed my loop. That was the way I went. So, it's such a more, nothing more than just like a half mile hike back down to my trailhead. So, if you made it this far, don't forget to like, subscribe, and you know, Drew, I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Really help. Makes me think it's worth doing this stuff but yeah, I don't know how long a video will be hopefully not too long but, yeah if this wind don't stop I won't have no campfire tonight It'd be too windy so, I'm gonna head back to the head back to the camp ant but, uh, come on learn to speak I'm gonna head back to the campsite I'll leave that blooper in